In this video, I'm going to go through the thousand digit peg word system. Let's go. Hi, it's Tansel here, four time Australian memory champion helping you learn faster and better. If you think this stuff's helpful, please subscribe to the channel and also like the video as well. So thank you very much for that. Now let's get started. When we're looking at the number system, we're looking at a way to memorize numbers using the major system. Now that is the system we mostly talked about in the prior videos. And it is the system that many, many memorizers around the world use. And the reason for that is that it creates images for a paired groups of numbers. So for example, 17 could be a dog, 71 could be a cat. So they're in pairs of digits. But we're gonna look at a system today that's gonna to use three digits, not two, but three. And the reason why this is cool is that three digits presents a greater advantage because you can create an image for three digits instead of two, obviously. Um, but the real advantage is when you've got a, a long series of numbers, then having a three digit system helps you to remember less things over a period of time. And that's pretty cool because the less things we have to remember, the easier it is for us to retain in our mind. So let's go, let's have a look at this system. So let's say we've got a number here. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's our number. Normally how we'd memorize it is if we break it down like that, we'd say one and two using the major system. That could be a T and an N. So it's uh, tan. Maybe it's me, Tansel, <laughs> right? Three and a four is MR. That could be Mr. Or it could be Homer, <laughs> Homer Simpson from my list. And 56, you could have Leech or Lash. If you don't know how I got these numbers, you can check out my video on how to memorize numbers using the major system. So that's using that particular system. For now, let's have a look at how this is currently being memorized. So this is three images. And how we're going to memorize this number is, okay, here's Tan, uh, then we're connecting it to MR here, so Mr. or Homer. So maybe it's me, Tansel, meeting Homer Simpson, and maybe he's, you know, being attacked by leeches. So that's my little story there. I've involved three elements. Now, if I use the thousand digit system, what's gonna happen is I'm gonna grab an image here and I'm going to grab an image here. Now, the reason why I say image is that three digits represent an image, not two. So now, instead of having three things to remember, I've only got two things. And what I can do is using the major system, that's a TNM or DNM, right? So if I use DNM, that could be denim the word denim, like jeans, jeans made out of denim, and that could be R, L, and then ch, ch, so relish. Okay, so denim and relish, I could have my denim jeans covered in relish. Now that's a lot easier to remember than three things happening here. Now, that's the beauty of having this thousand digit system is that you can remember a lot better because now you're using less items but you can make them more memorable. So essentially what you're doing is you're saving yourself energy by trying to remember more. You're still remembering more, but you're using less items to do so, if that makes sense. So let me, let me go through that again. So instead of connecting three things together, you're now connecting two, but you're still remembering six digits, right? So that's the benefit of using the thousand digit system. Now, obviously a disadvantage one massive disadvantage of the thousand digit system is memorizing the thousand. Now, it's not like memorizing a hundred. Memorizing a hundred could take you a couple of hours to do, but memorizing a thousand, it could take you months. Uh, and it really depends on how much effort you put in to memorize your thousand. Now, you could be really inspired and knock it off in a week or so. That, that's fine. People have done that. I, I've sort of done that myself. But the trick especially if you're entering competitions, right? The trick is not being able to memorize it. The trick is recalling it straight away because if you want to recall those numbers really quickly, then you have to know them pretty quickly. So that's the issue with having a three digit system. Now, if you're not entering competition, then you, you don't need to be super fast. All you need to know is, okay, what are the letters from the major system? And then how can I use it? And that's all you need to do. Now, can you use four digits? Absolutely, go for it. You can use four digits, five digits, as long as you can make a word, then what you're doing is you're saving yourself 
more images to create, you're creating less images and it, things become a lot easier to remember. So think about that. Um, that's just a very quick lesson on the three digit system. Uh, I'll probably go through this in a lot more detail as well, but I just wanted to quickly show you that. Uh, if you're really interested to finding out more on the three digit system, let me know in the comments below, write down you know, what you'd like to find out. And if you have any questions on it, we're happy to go through all that with you. Uh, if you found this really helpful, um, hit the like on the video. And if, if you're really interested in a lot of this memory stuff, hit subscribe as it really helps out the channel and you know, gets it known to everyone else in the world. So thank you very much and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.